Hey everyone, so as you can see, solo again. Uh, life got in the way, Mike and I couldn't get together tonight. He's going to do some solo reviews. I'm going to do some solo reviews. It's going to be good. Um, we got a, another beer courtesy of Anthony at Beer Snobs United. If you haven't already checked it out, go ahead and check out our unboxing video and also um, a review of The Answer is Larceny. And depending on what I edit and what we record afterwards, it could be the future. Whatever else we did. Uh, actually, no, we did uh, Bros Bros Night Night Out Out by the Veil. One of the Stranger Things cover on it. Um, today, I'm going to do a pretty interesting one. I should have did it on Christmas because, you know, there's like reindeers and shit on the uh, on the can. Um, it's Trim Tab Brewing out of Birmingham, um, Alabama. Never had anything by them. Um, he sent this um, just in the trade. Just tossed two and two of these in. I probably should definitely – I still have two. I probably should definitely open one on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, but other beers and drunkenness kind of thing. Uh, gravitational Nectar. Um, authentic cranberry ale, whatever authentic cranberry ale is. So cranberry spice Berliner Weiss, holiday now, uh, 5% alcohol, 7 IBUs, and an SRM of 70. Merry Bright Gravitational Nectar, or Gravitational Nectar Merry, maybe? I don't know, let's get it in a glass. And I've got my Treehouse Tiku because I love Tikus. Oh, that's pretty. That is pretty. We're going to toss this on camera, too, because that is gorgeous. Look at that. It's like pink grapefruit-ish looking with like this like pearly, perfect pearly white head. Um, yeah, this looks freaking delicious. Um, you can't see it. It's unfiltered. I mean, you can't see through it. Um, wow. Like, just the treehouse glasses comes right through on it, right? Let's get a nose. Uh, about, yeah, about one finger ahead. Fluffy, fluffy white head. Uh, small little compact bubbles. That smells ridiculous. That legit smells like, well, cranberry spice. Um, it reminds me of, um, like, a pumpkin spice beer or... Shipyard's apple spice beer um, during like the, the Halloween time or fall time, whenever all those pumpkin spice beers go on. Not that it smells like pumpkin spice, but you get that same type of character, spice character. But the cranberry comes through with like that, like the bitterness that I have a cranberry, but also like, like the sweet, you know how cranberry is bitter and sweet and all that good stuff. I don't have to tell you guys what a cranberry tastes like. I'm sure you've all had cranberry or cranberry sauce. Well, regular, well, depending on what kind of cranberry sauce, but either way. It just smells. This smells like Christmas. Um, it's June 5th, so it's close enough. Let's dive in. Cheers. So, Berliner Weiss. It's a tad bit tart. Um, it's not super tart, so if you don't like sours, um, you may be okay in this realm. Um, but you get like this super sweetness with the spice kind of coming up right up front. Where it kind of then fades out into the sourness, like a little bit of bitterness. Um, then as it it just kind of washes and dries off your palate, um, and just makes me want to just go like this. Mid carbonation, and then the very aftertaste is like cranberry sauce or just cranberries. This kind of sits there and plays on your tongue for a little bit, like these, this like the like sweet bitterness. This beer is fantastic. The more I drink it, though, it the initial flavor, it's a little subdued, but then it kind of, it's like over there, there, over there, over there, and it like kind of like amps up a little bit, and then it dies back off, and then you got the aftertaste, and it dies back up again. Um, yeah, this is this is tremendous. Um, with, we don't do many Berlin devices or sours on the channel. It's not because we don't like them; we love them. Um, it's just that other people drink them before we get to them. Well, we drink them with our significant others usually, um, but they like sours a lot. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, um, for five percent, this beer is super. Damn it, super crushable. Um, I can't wait to get this. I would love to get this next year too to just uh, try it. During the holiday season, see if it gets me festive. Uh, there's no can on date, but uh, 
I assume it's pretty pretty damn fresh. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments if you guys have had uh, Trim Tab Brewing out of Birmingham, Alabama. They're Birmingham Spice Berliner Vice. Um, yeah, this is I, get this beer. Um, try this beer. This is super interesting. If you like Berliner Weisses, if you like those spiced beers during the uh, during the, during the Halloween season, I'm not going to judge you. Maybe a little bit. Um, maybe this is an alternative than uh, going with that uh, that chocolate uh, pumpkin, huh? Maybe you should just maybe do this instead of some chocolate uh, pumpkin. But yeah, let me know in the comments again if you've had this. What do you think of it? And uh, don't forget to check out Beer Sub United. Anthony, thank you so much for fucking sending this. Um, this is a beer that I probably wouldn't. Oh, I would probably try it. I'd probably buy it on the shelf, but um, I don't think I'd ever think about reviewing it or anything like that if someone didn't send it to me. So thank you very much. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, Nerdsense.net from there. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Google Plus, and yeah, I'm Sean. This is Nerdsense Drinks. Drinks.